Alright, so today we're going to be using Magirna. Um, I've never really used Magirna, but I think it's really, really good. Obviously, get Soul Heart, one of the best abilities in the game, being able to get a plus one special attack anytime any Pokemon gets fainted. Not only the opponents, but your teammates as well. It doesn't need to KO them like Beast Boost. Anytime anything faints, Magirna's going to get a boost. So hopefully we can make Magirna work. We're also going to be using it with Xerneas to give it a Fairy Aura boost today. So hopefully it works. Wish me luck. Um, is there any competitive difference between original form of Garner and an old one? No. This person's using my team that I made recently that features Victini. So how are we going to beat this? How are we going to beat the Victini team that we recently made? We'd like to set Trick Room. Uh, do you think Weigard will be utilized a lot in this season? Yes, I do. I really, really do think that Weigard's going to be absolutely amazing in this season. I'd like to set Trick Room. I think we just go Palkia and Diddy. And, like, if they don't go for, like... Tr if they want to go for hard Trick Room, that's fine. I'll just go for a max Palkia. And if they don't, that's fine. I think we still bring our Calyrex, even though they have a, a Melmetal. And I think we bring Groudon to check said Melmetal. We're not going to bring McGarren to this team because we're literally playing against someone that has Victini and my rental code. It's literally my rental team. You know, they're they're using a team that I made. So it is what it is. Sometimes we got to do this and just fight people that are uh, playing teams that we've already created. This is the uh, the common or the content creators curse. You make something, it gets popular. People use it. You got to deal with it. Is the Victini? Do I care if they want to set terrain or set terrain? Kind of. We could hard switch in the Groudon, but I don't think we need to. You're busting out so many teams. Yeah, I, I agree. I am. I agree that I am. That's right, so a no. Um, so that's a Sash into the. I'll go for the Hydro Geyser because I was just new to the Victini, and like I'm actually gonna click and expanding because like if they force to the follow me, um, this will. If they actually click follow me, this means that the Victini, um. Well, not the, sorry, the entity would probably get KO'd. They're probably literally in our stream right now. Like, literally, that's why they're taking so long on their turns. They're using my rental code. They're in our stream. They have to know who we are because they're using our rental code. That's what it is. Yeah, that's what you got to do. Like, I love it when people take my teams as ideas and expand upon them further. I don't really like it fighting against my own rentals. I'm not a big as a fan of that. So let's see. If they go follow me, Trick Room, it's not the end of the world. If they don't go follow me, Trick Room, they're maxing. They're just going to take big damage. And it's like, I don't even know what they're going to do with this Victini, but like, realistically, Palkia outspeeds. Yeah, that's fine. Are you, if you're just going for like a helping hand play, it's not it, Chief. You're going to get bustered by this Palkia. Helping hand. Bro, you're about to lose your Victini, bro. Don't do that. Sash on your entity is broke. And Geyser's up, yo. Oh my goodness. We take those. Yay, delete. Oh, it's alive. What? Yo, Victini busted? Oh my gosh, I'm so sad. I'm so sad that Victini's still alive. It ain't an expanding force and that. Ah, uh, it's not that big a deal, though. Not that big a deal. It's gonna be like half. I mean, honey, not even. Like, Victini's good, but you need to set Trick Room. Victini's a good cleanup on with V Create. But that's about it. Alright, so they're definitely gonna go for, like, a follow me play. So we'll just go for our Geyser, another entity, take it out, and pop a follow me. Nothing we really have to care about. No Trick Rooms here. Withdraw entity! Is it Calyrex coming in? Oh my gosh, it's about to get absolutely dumpstered! absolutely dumpstered let's freaking go yeah we got a new follow arx dropping the big follow the white the max garden of victini not today chief i don't even need to take that guy out buddy do not even need to go after that guy i'll go after your palkia or sorry uh, my palkia will go after calyrex it's an uber oh my gosh how'd it live um i i i mean the only person who can beat me is me right my victini sets are on point yeah, they're using my rental code, so it's like it makes sense that they use a good rental code. That's the that's the that's a plus one difference. There's the grout on setting the sun here. Uh, we just throw a max uh, wormwind into the Victini. 
And we don't even need to, like, white guard anymore, realistically. We should probably just switch the entity out. So, Mac Worm went into the Victini. Take out that KO. We have two Mons we can switch into. I'll switch in with my Groudon. It's not going to be amazing, but I feel like resetting Entity with, like, Follow Me and, like, Expanding Force for the terrain is going to be value for just going for Expanding Force and stuff like that in the back. Making the Accidental Calc to live? I don't know. I don't think about it's accidental. Like, I made that Calc for when I would fight against Palkia. So it's not accidental. I'm surprised that they take the scoop. We take the win, though. We take those wins, though. 100% win rate with this team so far. Didn't mean Magarna, but like, we take those. They can turn the game off all they want. Butterfree? We got Butterfree out here? Butterfree. All right, all right. We don't have any Intimidators. That's fine. We just need to go Redirection Trick Room. Who's our setter, though? They have no AoE other than Soul. So, like, I can actually get away with going Magarna here. I'll go Magarna. And then from there, we'll bring out, like, Palkia. Groudon. It has to be Palkia Groudon instead of Palkia Calyrex. Because we're going to need to Hydro uh, Vortex this freaking Palkia. Cool beans. Let's go. Let's go. What is Evo? Evo is the fighting game world championship. So, like, Street Fighter, Tekken, Mortal Kombat, Dragon Ball Fighters. All the fighting games get together at Evo in Las Vegas every single year for the fighting game world championships. And I remember I, I used to, like... I, I've gone to EVO, like, pretty much every year for, like, the past five years. So, let's go. LeBron of the Los Angeles Lakers. Let's see what they want to do. Um, the only way that they stop us from absolutely rolling them, realistically, is going for, like, Trick Room of our Trick Room with Whimsicott. I hope that doesn't happen. I realistically hope that that doesn't happen. They're going to go for a Quake here, which, like, sucks, but it's not the end of the world. So we'll just go for a follow me here. Follow me, soak some damage. We'll get our trick room. We'll go for a flash cannon and a hydro vortex next turn. We should be good. Protect. Are you trick room, trick room? No way. No way. Protect soul seems weird though. Tailwind on the trick room. This is what we in the business of competitive professional Pokemon players called the noob combo, right? When people can't read the board correctly and they try to tailwind on a turn that you trick room, like, oh my gosh, that's so good. Oh, that's nice. We can just get this whims off the board right now. And we could steal spike, but I don't think we have to. Like, I don't mind soaking that damage, do I? I want to get the whims off the board. Like, I don't want that Pokemon on the board anymore. I don't know if I want to max Magirna here. Yeah, I'll do it. Let's go! Steel Spike! Oh, the scoop? The scoop, though? Oh my goodness, that game was over. That game was over. I told you, the noob combo. You take them to the grinder. They pop a tail when you pop a trick room, and we take those wins up. We take those big wins up. We'd be loving to see that. Yeah, that was, that was over. Like, we're gonna take the whims out, gonna get a Steel Spike boost. Take damage on our Magirna. Um, doesn't really matter what they do next. We follow me for the next two turns. Send out Palkia Revenge KO. Like, Ooh. So that's going to be a final Gambit Lucario paired with Magirna. Okay. Okay. So we can protect that out. So like realistically, I think a fun thing to do would be to like... It's going to be a Scarf Final Gambit Lucario. So we can lead like Indidy Magirna here. I'm fine fighting you with this. Um, and then we can go like... I think Calyrex is still going to be good in the back. And then, like, Palkia is probably better than Groudon as our max option. And I think I might even go, like, Protect Entity to bait the max... Oh, sorry, the final Gambit into that slot. What they should be doing is targeting the uh, Magirna slot. And we'll see, if, we'll see if they even do that. Or if that even matters. Or maybe they won't click the final Gambit if, like, I have a Magirna on the board. Because then I would get the KO. Do you like Series 13 so far? I love it. I absolutely love Series 13. Lucario Magirna! Okay, so we're gonna have one of these games, huh? We're gonna have one of these games? I'm down. That's why I'm here. We take those. Alright, let's see. What do we want to do here? Because, like, I can protect with the current Mon and, like, do the right play to, like, punish them. We have the regular Magirna versus the Pokeball one. Let's see if I can get these wins. I mean, if we get the follow me, it's good. Like, if we get the follow me... And just set a trick room. We don't even need to set a trick room at this point then, right? 
We can actually, like, not set Trick Room and just steal Spike out the Magirna and then just send out our Palkia and just win. If they set up Trick Room, like, we send out Calyrex and win with a high horsepower. <sighs> what if we want, like, Expanding Force? I guess we would normally target their Lucario, just in case. And just, like, a Protect. Just to see. I want to see what they're going to do. Magirna and Amir. They're maxing their Magirna. Okay, that's good for us. That means, that, that means they're wasting their max turns realistically. So they're going to max. Palki has a good matchup sometimes versus Magirna, but that means they're expecting me to set Trick Room, and I'm just not, which means Palki is great here. So we're protecting. Who are you final gambit targeting, buddy? Literally never, ever, ever lucky. If they target our Meganna, they'd be making it so they found a game that couldn't do enough damage in the future. We have a Sash, so we're fine. So we're gonna get, we're both gonna get Soul Heart boosts, but I wasted my Protect. I could've just went for a Flash Cannon here. And they're gonna send out their Palkia. I do get good damage on them here. Steel Spike, okay, cool. I think Palkia has to be the play here. Oh, they targeted Magirna. Wait, what? Didn't I quick follow me? No, I clicked expanding. I'm an idiot. No, that's fine. That's fine. Indy saves. Indy survives. That's good. That's good. That's good. This is fine. So I'm just trying to steal spike out our Magirna, but like we have lefties value. We need it. There's the whims. We don't want to Trick Room, but I think I'm going to have to. Let's try this. That was a weird turn. If they just want to take out the uh, the Magirna here, that's fine. I want to max it. Starfall doesn't do it. You can take out my terrain if you want. Oh, what? Yo, what the hell? Yo, no way. Critical hit. Never lucky. Oh, my gosh. That's so dumb. We were fine. We had the game one. We had the game like literally one. I mean, it's fine, but like, whatever. Yeah, two crits in a row, what the hell? I know, right? Let's see. We're bulky. I mean, you just go for the double, like realistically, and then we're gonna switch this into Palky to block the Steel Spike, and then they're gonna be out of max turns, and we're gonna be able to hopefully roll them over. With like a max Geyser, because they're gonna go for like multiple Steel Spikes. We got the double protect, that's actually super value, by the way. It's super value, That's that makes up for the fact that I had double crit. How can I have to take a ton of damage here, but it's fine. Holy shit, that's a lot of damage. Yo, Magirna's so busted. Alright. It's okay. It's okay. Hmm. So, redirection. Follow me to stop the Moonblast. And then just a Max Geyser to hopefully take their Magirna out. And then... And we send out our Calyrex, and hopefully our Calyrex, can, we can go for like a max guard play. And then like a Trick Room. We were we would have won the game right there, though. We just want to send out our Calyrex this turn, and just max uh, Quake to the Magirna and won the game. We'll see if they pop a Tailwind here. If they Tailwind, it doesn't really matter that much. I'd rather that they don't, but we'll see. 
cool. That's the right play, and hopefully our Palkia can out, out uh, I can just kill their Magirna, obviously. Come on, Palkia! Do it for me this one time. This Magirna is so big. This doesn't show how good Magirna is. I don't know what other game will. Like, we've been crit twice by Magirna. Take it on the grinder. It gets taken out here, but it's about damn time, right? What are we gonna do in this situation? I don't know if Wimscott has anything to actually check a Calyrex. They have to send out something they can check Calyrex here. And we don't even have our boost. Their own Calyrex. We have to go max our Trick Room. I think we might be able to load the Astral, but if they double into our Calyrex, we will lose it. So that means we could go protect Calyrex. But then we lose our power to the astral. So like the only the only play we have here is like trick room and max guard our Palkia. Alright. They're taking a minute. Hopefully they're not in the stream, you know. I wouldn't be surprised, but like we'll see what happens. This is usually what happens. People take the long turn, right? And we'll see. Are you attacking me? Ash, if you're Moonblasting my Palkia, I'm sad. Because we don't get killed there. I, we might live the Moonblast here. All right, they're not sniping then. All right, school, I don't have to worry about that at all. They made the, they made the right play, I would say. That's the 100% correct play. Where's the Sash? This would kill the Whims. I'm gonna, the, the, uh, I'm gonna go after the Cali. Because we can actually kill the Wims with the Hailstorm here. In case the Wims is the one with the Sash. This is a double up. Let's go. Bulky Cali Ice. Can we get these wins or not? Can we get the wins or not? Like, I'd love a KO here. Protect is fine on Cali. That means the Whims is the one that Sash, which means we will break this with the Hailstorm. Um, I'm thinking this means the Whims is the one that Sash. They're going to go for a, uh, what is it? A, They're probably going to go for like a Moonblast on my Palkia. And then it's going to be basically this damage into their Cali Ice. Um, sorry, the Moonblast, or sorry, the, the, the Hailstorm damage into their Cali Ice. So hopefully we can finish off the Cali Ice with a, a Glacial Lance, but we'll see. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we'll finish up the Cali S here. But we'll find out. Don't kill me, buddy. 2 HP, we're gonna take up from the hail. Oh well. Hey, it is what it is, you know? Close, 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 close. Whimsicott takes up from hail. I think I might maybe pop a protect on Cali to get an extra tick of hail on that Cali Ice. But we'll see. I don't think Glacial Lance kills them from there because I didn't get a boost. What do you guys think? Oh, it's only one mod. Single target. I win. Yeah, I should be fine. I thought I had a second mod. This should get the kill. Come on, Calyrex! Let's go! We win the Diancy, or sorry, the Magirna, not Diancy, the Magirna Mirror Match. We won. That's what I like to see. We do be taking those. That was a close one. That was close, yo. I thought they had another Mon left. I really thought they had a second Mon in the back. All right. Okay, we're gonna break Melmetal, definitely. Let's see, how do we deal with this? Gary. McGarner's good. More McGarner mirror matches. <sighs> I think I might want to lead like Groudon Cali. I like Groudon Cali because it can pin the McGarner, but also like it sets the sun and underspeeds the ogre. And then we switch in the entity to give us the Psychic Seeds boost after the Kyger's like, grounded out. And then our last mon like might be Palkia. It might be Magirna. I don't mind Magirna here. I think it's a pretty decent mom. We don't have any other good max options. Like Palkia is good. 
it should just be Palkia. Yep. You're starting to see a situation where, like, Magirna is good, but, like, Palkia is literally better. If we were to make a tier list, like, I would put Palkia above Magirna in pretty much every situation. Palkia is, like, probably one of the top three mods in this whole format. Palkia is obviously the best Trick'em setter, best water type, best dragon type. So, let's see what we can do here. If you can max it, it's the best Dynamax Pokemon in the format. Best Trick Room Setter. Such good defensive typing. So this is exactly what we wanted to see. Because we get the weather up that we wanted. So let's see what we actually want to do with this. Are we afraid of a max steel spike from the Magirna? Or are we afraid of, like, Kyger doing stuff? Because, like, I can just stay with this Kali and try and set a TR if we expect the Magirna to protect. Or we can just switch in our Palkia and go for, like, a Max Quake. And I think that's probably a really good play. Top 5 Dragon type YouTube vid incoming? It definitely is incoming! It is incoming! Oh my gosh, spoilers, right? It's definitely coming soon. Did you forget the final game card from turn 1? No. I, I mean, I didn't forget it. Like, I remember that it happened, but I just still thought they had another Mon in the back. In the last game. So let's see what they're gonna do. We're gonna switch in the Palkia, mitigate the steel type attack, hopefully. I wonder if they're gonna max. It looks like they're not maxing. I would love it if they trick roomed. Oh my gosh. Who trick rooms versus Kali Ice though, right? Don't just go for an origin or a water spout. Like you might be popping your groundon policy. Okay, so they're maxing the Magirna. That's fine. Groudon has a good amount of speed advantage on Magirna. And the fact that we Dynamax first means we're, uh, we're faster. So it's cool. We're in a really good spot here. We outspeed a lot of these. And he's that movable difference between Pokeball colored Magirna versus Rainbow Magirna. I think it's purely cosmetic. I actually do not know, but I, I do think it's purely cosmetic. You guys can feel free to correct me. I think it's just cosmetic. Supportive sets and restricteds. I do think we're going to see a lot of supportive restricteds. I do think that. Bro, if that would have proc'd a policy ground, then you would have lost the game, by the way. Just throwing this out there. You would have just lost the game. I'm going to laugh if, like, I'm policy proccing a Magirna and just, like, getting my own tech thrown in my face. But, like, we'll see. No. No policy. You can still spec me all you want, buddy. Yep. Still spec my Palkia. Have fun with that. You have all the fun you want with that. Yeah, the only difference is the Magirna Pokeball has zero speed guaranteed. Yeah. And I just don't have one of those, so. And it's Life Orb. That's the standard set. I think Leftovers is a better set. It's like the exact opposite. Uh, we're just going to keep quaking it up and uh, just go for a Spatial Rend onto this Kyogre. I kind of want to go for a Quake. Sorry, oh, not a Quake. A Trick Room here. I will. I will go for a Trick Room. If you're going to max out your Magirna, like, you're earning this. You're earning this outplay if you're if you're maxed on your Mangarna. But I'll trick room. Because I want to be able to underspeed your Kyogre for the next turn. So we'll kill the Mangarna, get a trick room up, and the next turn double into the Kyogre and win the game. Look at that big Palkia. Oh, it's such a good play. Yeah, that's a good play. I can't I can't do anything about that, so it is what it is. They even go for the Ice Beam. If they get the freeze, I can't trick room. Okay, cool. So this will mean that they underspeed and can go for a max cannon. Sorry, max starfall into my Palkia, which will make in all my attacks, but they will be not doing that much to my Groudon. Palkia doesn't have protect. Do you have anything we can switch to? Indy's great. Indy can soak that damage. Easy peasy. Palkia comes out and just rinses the Kyogre at the end. That was a good play. That was a great play. I don't think that they're in the stream, but, like, you never know, you know, because they're taking full turn timers, you know what I mean? Which basically means by the time I'm talking about this now, they're already hearing about it, you know? By the time I say I'm switching into the, I'm doing this, I'm doing the XYZ, they can already hear it. You never know, like, there's no one else streaming VGC right now. There's no one else streaming VGC Series 13 right now. It's not hard to get sniped in this situation. Protect Kyra. Oh, it looks like they're not then. You never know. I seriously, I, I, I'm going to err on the side of being like, I'm getting sniped as opposed to like, I'm not. We do have the Sash though, it's value. I'm going to take out the, uh, the, um, the Magirna here. And we're going to be in a great spot with our Groudon. But you never know. You, you just never know. That was just a really good outplay for them going for the Max Art here. They have a, have a very, very good game sense. 
Take those Magarna down for the count. So it's a plus two Spadef boost to our Groudon. Kyogre does have the Ice Beam. It's not choiced. Next turn, we're going hard into that spot. We'll see how this is going to go down. This is not amazing yet because, like, we don't know what they have left. There's their Groudon. We have a Palkia and a Cali Ice. How the game's been? Just finished this, some SV art. Yo, grats. Uh, game's been great. I think we uh, just go for a big P Blades here, and you don't really go for the follow me. I guess you might go for. No, I think you just go for the expanding and the follow me. Let me just check one thing. Two turns. Sorry, three turns on TR. We're great. Yeah, we just send out uh, Calyrex under this and win the game. We know who we're under speeding. I'd like to under speed both of them so we can hit the Ogre for massive damage. The Palkia can be very, very impactful. But like, ooh, they switch out. That's good for us. That's great. That's great. Urshi, Urshi Dark maybe? Yeah. Urshi Dark could switch in. P Blades would love to hit both these. We do be taking those all the way to the bank. That's so good. So Indy's going to go down. Ground is going to take a good amount of damage. They can send their Ogre back out. But like, I think we're okay. I think we just send out Kali. We get the Psychic Seeds boost, which means we're good versus Ogre. We pin both these. We switch out Groudon this turn because we can already pin both those mons with this Kali Ice. And then um, we have the potential to switch Groudon back in once Ogre comes back in. This should be able to finish off this Urshi. I might be super wrong, but I think we're fine. I've been having a moderate amount of success with zoom lens milotic and smog on ou quiet nature with max special attack and defense with the last four and evs and defense that's actually, that's actually a pretty cool team or that's a that's a pretty cool mod so happy to hear that i'm happy to hear people are still playing ou i'm happy to hear still people are still playing ou love ou love that format love singles and uh, let's see what they do um i think we're fine i think we can ko the urshi here you can't sucker punch not that much you can do you can go for a wicked ball i think we take it it's sucker punch oh wait there is a terrain oh, that's fine then i don't really care like good play i'd rather i'd rather eat a sucker punch here and barely miss my ko than like miss my ko and get wicked blow and get ko'd for it yeah see this is fine because then what we do here is just switch in the groudon back in we're gonna switch the groudon back in Hey, I forgot that it wasn't, wasn't Psychic Terrain, it's Misty Terrain. That's cool. That's a cool Melodic set. I really do like that. I love that Melodic set. Zoom Lens. That's sick. You don't see that that frequently, so pretty cool stuff. Yeah, here's the Kyogre. We go for the Max Quake. Um, not Max Quake, sorry, just the Quake. And they're going to protect here, so we'll switch in the Groudon, and then we'll go for like a Quake. They'll protect, we'll, and then be able to go for like a Precipice Blades Plus. Um... A high horsepower. Hope we don't miss. If they go for the double attack here. Groudon won't get KO'd, hopefully. If they go for an attack here, they're gonna have to eat the Quake first. I probably should just be using Glacial Lance to do the standard damage to make the spout weaker, but it's fine. Survey says protect Kyogre TY, my guy. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go for the Glacial Lance. It's a lot less damage, but I do think that it's gonna be value in the end. We don't need to trick room here, do we? I mean, trick room would let me go for a, a Glacial Lance plus a high horsepower. Protect trick room's value. You can't stop this Cali. I have a, I have a everything I need here on this Cali. You can't KO me here. It's some um, boost. It's 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 in the sun. We're good. Cali busted. And then now we just go for a P-Blades plus a uh, Glacial Lance, and then you won't be able to KO the Groudon after that. So we, we, we're we we're increasing our chances of hitting our non 100% uh, accuracy moves. So Glacial Lance is going to do like 40%, which will keep your Kyger out of range of KO my Groudon, which means I get a second chance at P-Blades, and like, we're good to go. We're good to go. This Glacial Lance is going to do a ton next turn. <laughs> this Glacial Lance is going to do a ton next turn. 
right, here we go. Okay, Kali's at plus two. It's gonna do a ton here. Yep. I think Glacier Wants is fine. It's gonna do like 30 to 40 percent tops. It's definitely worth it just to stick the damage. Like Hyrule's power would do like 80 to 90 percent, but they're clicking Origin this turn anyways, you know? Oh my gosh! Hyrule's power would just would o code it. And the P-Blades does hit. We take those wins. We mitigate our factors of not hitting our moves. And we take those wins. The big wins. Series 13 wins. We do be loving to see that. That's a Porygon team. You may think that team's bad. It doesn't actually seem bad. I've actually entered Porygon and Porygon Z at a regional before. I think this is a good game to go Zern. Um, I think Zern could be actually be really, really cool. And I'm gonna go Zern Magarna, because I can. And then in the back, I think Indy is a good mod to bring in the back. Uh, hold on, we have to watch out for the Ditto. So actually, that means I'm gonna mix this up. We do have to watch out for Ditto. Watch out for Ditto, guys. Oh, uh, Ditto is gonna be a hard Pokemon to deal with. Uh, we can always go Protect Zern and go like Indy Cali in the back and Trick Room the Zern slot. That's probably gonna be my best play. Let's go. Last VGC, let us have more than two restrictions with VC 2009. I know, right? Yeah, EV training's a, a bit of a pain, but it is what it is. I'm thinking of making an Arceus team. It's not in the format. You can't use Arceus. Otherwise, I, I, I would totally use Arceus. It's just not, it's not legal, so you can't use it. All right, so still have to watch out for this uh, ditto slot. But I think we're going to be fine because we have Magirna. Big Magirna energy. Big Magirna energy. Let's freaking go. Fairy Aura boosting the Magirna. Let's do it. Let's just one-shot their Porygon. Xerneas is literally, literally being used as a support Pokemon. This is the first format ever in history where Xerneas is being used as... A support Pokemon. I am supporting my Magirna right now. I'm doing my absolute best out here. Big Max Porygon, you still might lose it, bro. Might, 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 might. Make a Mew team. I might, I might make a Mew team. It's coming soon. I actually have a couple ideas from you. So let's go, Magirna. They do outspeed with Porygon, but we should be fine. Gravity Zern. No, no, no. It's the Fairy Aura that boosts our Magirna's um, Max Dark Ball. So let's go. Magirna versus Porygon. Max Strike, not bad into Zern, right? Yeah, it's a full speed Porygon. Oh, they get the full Oko. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that's really, really, really bad. That means the Fuebos is gonna go in our Magirna. A good play from them. Like, I, they do give us a Soul Heart boost. Don't lose your Porygon, bro. Oh, don't lose it. I'm not, I'm not gonna lose this. Yeah. Don't don't lose your Porygon, bro. Oh my gosh. So hard boosted. Xerni has taken the L. So we can actually get those wins. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, that's so nuts. I think we just send out Indity and just go for like redirection, soak damage, kill him on, take a little more damage. Right, that's probably gonna be right. We can probably just kill this Arcanine on like one hit, yo. Big soul heart energy. Okay. I'm gonna send Indity out. And the leftovers. We'd be loving to see those leftovers. I'm gonna send Indity out. I think we can get some good value off this Pokemon here. That was funny. There's the Ditto. They can copy it. They can get the copy. I think our still spike will Oko them though, because they wasted their max already. And we'll get a defense boost off it, so we're actually in a really, really good spot. Let's go! Indity's busted. And let's see if we can get some wins here. Steel Spike neutral damage. Should be able to get the KO. And follow me. So they're gonna go for like a floor cannon into our Indity, and then like Arcanine will finish up a little bit, but we'll get a Steel Spike in that slot, so hopefully we won't get killed by the Arcanine on the last turn. And then we'll send out Cali and go for like a Protect Cali, finish up the Arcanine. And they'll be able to win the game. So we already planned up the last like four or five turns of this game. 
Regina reminds me of Dexter's mom from Dexter's Lab. <laughs> I don't know if I've seen that episode. Oh, cool. Big Flare Blitz. Awesome. So they're actually not Scarf Ditto. I wonder what their item is. Are they Sash Ditto? Ooh, a burn! That actually might be good or bad. Depends on if they're trick rooming here. How can Zerma use support? It adds Fairy Ore to make your Magirna even stronger. Support Zern. Flash Cannon. Okay, cool. So they're not Scarf Ditto, though. I wonder what item they are. What do you guys think they are? Like they're, the Arcanine's faster. I guess it could be a Scarf Arcanine. But then, like, still, Ditto's not Scarf. So, like, what item is it? Either way, it's probably going down. Yeet delete! Oh, it's not sashed. That's one thing. It's not sashed! Alright. Quick Claw Ditto, probably. Like, real. It's either Quick Claw or, like, Room Service, right? So, we now that we have a defense boost, the only way that Arcanine kills us is, like, crit. So let's see what the last Mon is. <sighs> what is this? Porygon! Good Mon. Very, very solid Mon. I want you guys to see how much my Magirna has boosts for. Trace of Soul Heart, bro! That's dangerous. That's getting a little bit dicey here. So Nagarna has plus four special attack. That's quite a bit. Starf, let me see. Is the Starfall time? It's 10 base power stronger. We'll definitely use Star power, or Starfall. And just go for Glitch Lance. We should be fine. Let's go. Battle was canceled. They knew. Basically, there's no way they came out of that one. We were going to one-shot the Porygon 2. If they put with either of these guys, they were going to get put within range of Glacial Lance slash like damage from the Magarna. So... We'll take those wins. Magirna absolutely big busted. And uh, we do be welcome to see that. Let's think about this format. Um, Or sorry, this game. Redirection Trick Room's value here. So Entity was something. Probably Entity Palkia is probably the best. It's the safest. And then like Groudon's good for so many of those. So I will go with the Groudon. And then like Calyrex is so good for so many of those, so I'll go, I'll go with the, the Calyrex. I'd like to use McGarrett, but like if you're gonna use a team that's just super weak to like the rest of my squad, I'll use it. But yeah, I do think that like Haze is not like a valuable option for Volcanion. Just because like Volcanion wants to hold a vest, it wants to hold more defensive items, and like it doesn't even underspeed Magirna. So it's like if your Magirna's gonna set Trick Room, and then what? How is Volcanion gonna haze it? You know, it's, it's not, that's the answer. It's because it's going to come out and have its teammate get KO'd, and then it's going to maybe haze the next turn after Volcano KO's its second opponent. Or sorry, my Garena KO's its second opponent. Sacrificing two opponents, sorry, two of your teammates to give a haze, not worth it. So, Cali and Whims. This is really, really hard to deal with. I think the only thing we lose here, to here is either Imprison on the Cali. Or a trick room on either of them. Trick rooming our own trick room. But we're definitely going for trick room here. We're definitely going to still go for it. Like, it is what it is. They're on the stream, so we're fine. Because we have Shadow Ball. We could just click the Shadow Ball button. We actually still will click the Shadow Button. Like, what else are you going to do? Moonblast me? I don't care. Yeah, I'll still click Shadow Ball. If you want to go for Imprison, go for Imprison. Helping Hand! Like, I can't... I, if I die, I die. If it's Specs... Okay, if it was, like, Spanning, I would have probably gotten KO'd on the Palkia. But, like, we don't really care. Hey, this is a good play. This could crit and KO us, so, like, I, I feel like this is viable. A crit there would have gotten the KO. So, it's Life Orb, Helping Hand. A crit there would have gotten the KO on the Palkia. That's a viable play. That's, like, actually something they could have done. Whereas, like, you know, it is what it is. It's either that or just click Astral and, like, Tailwind. This is a much better play than that. So, the fact that they lowered my Palkia means I'm a terrible max option now. So, good play from them. I think that's a, actually a valuable play. I don't even know if I'll max Palkia now. Megarina coming out here. I don't think we max. I think we just click Expanding. And, like, realistically, I think we want a Blizzard. I think that sounds really weird, but, like... 
Hydro Pump's nice, but if they trick him us with a Wimps, we would lose. No, we wouldn't. We're fine. We'll go for the Hydro. If it misses, it misses. I can't do anything about that. They're obviously going to max. I'd love to stick this damage in the Magirna so the Quake would actually kill with our Groudon. Big Magirna energy from our opponent here. The standard Magirna, not the Pokeball one. And let's see. Starfall, they underspeed Palkia. Anyway, it is what it is. I can't do anything about that. If they want to underspeed my Palkia, go nuts, Chuck. I can't stop that. And they change our terrain. Who are we hitting with this? Uh, I didn't. I actually got super outplayed this turn. Um, I didn't think they underspeed Palkia. I thought they'd be a faster Magirna based off this team. But we'll see. I hope I'm hitting the whims realistically. Energy Ball. Wait, what the hell? Why your whims under speed by entity, bro? You like speed reduced super whims? Super speed reduced whims? Is your Palkia no good speed? It's not, but I still thought we'd under speed up fast, Magirna. Like, what the hell? Like, what? I've never seen an entity under speed of whims. Or, sorry, out speed of whims. Awkward, right? We're just gonna go for follow me's here. It's obviously the right play. No, we have to get that mind shot. The, the uh, what is this guy? Expanding force bro off the board. Physical Gengar, I know, right? It's weird. I think we go up to the mine just to get it off the board because the last mom's whims, right? So it's like if we can just deal with this, like we're fine. The only way we'd lose is like if they were able to go for like Magarna gets a steel spike into our entity, and then we don't they don't take that much damage, and like we policy proc them or something like that, or I don't even want to I don't even talk about that. Like they get the steel spike off, I can't deal with that. Um, all right, so at least we made the right target in targeting the Marshadow, though. Because we got to get that guy off the board. We got to get this Marshadow off the board. Um, we're going to take our boosts. I should have protected into D, obviously. It's my fault. There's no reason to go for a Quake into the into, into the Marsh into the, uh, what is that? Magirna. Not yet. Not yet. Almost. We're almost there, but not yet. Spectral Thief takes our boosts. Never lucky. Ah, I think they got us this one. I don't think we can do anything about this. The fact that Magirna is like so slow is going to make this really, really hard. We'll see. We have two turns left. And we underspeed their Magirna with our Palkio. I just can't believe that, that Wims got undersped by our um, Entity. It's so weird. Like, Entity under... Sorry, the, the Wims undersped our Entity is super weird. Like a min speed trick room entity. I was not expecting that on this team at all. Like Mar this team's like obviously like a awkward trick room team, but like not really. That 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 blims has to be made for trick room. It's not even. Alright, whatever. If you guys want like proof of like a game being like stupid, this one might be it. Like, like realistically, they're only taking like full turns on like the. I don't know, man. It's just so dumb, you know. That's why we can't have nice things.
One is going to get KO'd. We'll get a plus one attack boost. Um, Marshall, I can take that, but we can finish up the Marshall on the back. Hyrule Spark could have crit KO'd their Magirna here. I'm surprised they didn't protect. See what they're going after. They should go after the Calyrex, and if they get crit here, we just win. Which is why I don't think this is a good play. Oh, that's enough damage for me. Leftovers, good set. Leftovers are strong. But then you send the Marshall out here, and like you can take all the spit up boost in, your, in the world that you want, but like I still win. You think you're di you're thinking it's just evolved into something you didn't want? I I that happened to me earlier. Uh, I had something that I didn't want to have my mon digivolve into, and it was I was never lucky. It should just get a double KO. I don't care if you take all the spit up boost in the world. I got all I get is hit two people and I win. I'm pretty sure this person's in chat. I'm pretty sure this person's in chat. They've played this like super, super serious. Yeah, you're going for double leftovers protects. Like, I understand. I'm trying as many protects as you can on your mechanic to get the leftovers value, um, but I still think I win. Because I outspeed the Magirna. And like, I still think I can take it out. If not, it's whatever, but I'm pretty sure this person's in chat. I just gotta hit two P blades and I'd win. You can take all my sped F boosts you want in the world. You can go for a protect, you could have went for a protect trick room play maybe, but like, I doubt it. It's just one of those games where they played really, really weird. CC, okay. It's gotta hit two people. It's here. Let's go. We win. We win. They took really, really long times on like awkward turns. I can't confirm it or not if they're in chat. I don't care either way. I'll take the win. I'll take it. I'm not losing this one. I set up a situation where I couldn't realistically lose in case I missed. So we'll take those wins.